Welcome to the shop, everyone. Uh, let's do a quick update tour around the building here. Uh, we've come a long way. We still have a long way to go. But I say we, I mean, I've barely done anything. I've just brought stuff here and kind of given it a thumbs up and okay. But as you can probably tell, at least in this direction, some serious stuff has happened. So let's walk you down this way. Uh, we'll start up here, I guess, first to make the most sense up here by the entrance. So uh, the entrance itself, if you remember, uh, was basically a lot, a lot like this. These walls have started being cleared off here. Uh, we're getting down to the original uh, concrete. Uh, this whole building is basically block or, uh, or uh, basically just poured concrete walls, huge industrial space or you know commercial space, obviously. Just as a reminder for those of you that are curious about dimensions, this building is a little bit over 100 feet long and just a fuzz short of 16 feet wide. So it's in real good uh, condition and shape for what we need it to be. So let's talk about what's going on in this general area right here. As soon as you walk in the front door, there might may or may not be a facade wall right here, uh, which is uh, gonna you know kind of be this side useful for me. But this side, as it goes down the stairwell to the range, uh, it could be a bulletin board, it could be a wall, who knows what league scores, whatever it may be. Uh, but this is going to be the initial point of sale system here. And then as you work your way down, you have over 16 feet of bench space. Uh, so as that looks here, you'd have your point of sale system as it sits right here in front of you and as you work your way down. So this entire wall here, uh, over 16 feet, probably almost 20 feet, is gonna be for bows that need work, crossbows that need work, so on and so forth, you get the picture. Um, very excited for all, uh, we're gonna have two, uh, at least one press, if not two, during the peak season to get as much work as we've done on any bow or crossbow, whether we carry the brand or not. Uh, of course, if you need warranty work, that's a different story. Over here on this wall, <clears throat> if you remember, I just come back here to the wall space, right here above the stairwell, four, potentially a four foot by eight foot banner of all of the donor names, regardless of how much you've donated to the shop. $5, 500, 5,000, what does not matter? $1 does not matter. Your name is going on the banner. Right now we have over 150 names, which is just absolutely mind blowing of the number of men and women and families and friends and everything else that has donated to get this shop going. And that means so much to me, uh, not just as a, as a teacher, as an educator, as a YouTuber, as an archer, uh, but also now as a small business owner, that these people that are gonna be on this banner uh, up until the end of April, if you donate up until the end of April 2022, your name will go on that banner, uh, regardless of how much money you donate. And I can't thank all of you who have donated already and those of you that will continue to donate through the month of April. We are well on our way right now, the building itself, uh, we have the money and the funds to get this going uh, right now. Now it's going into bringing in more bow lines, bringing in more string KO manufacturers, different broadheads, arrows, releases, that kind of stuff. Be able to do the gear reviews that we want to do. I'm going to put you guys down, even though you're small handicap, you still hurt the shoulder. Being able to do all those reviews and everything else like that is what gets me excited. That gets me going. And right now your donations are going to that. Future content for you, future content, reviewability, and things that I can then bring into the shop and I can say with confidence or no, depending on the product, you get the idea. It's all right now and uh, that's what we're looking for. So again, sorry, I got completely sidetracked there. So right here where these two floor outlets are and the middle of the area here is going to be our bow display area. It's going to be two-sided and in the middle we're going to have bow boxes. So not only will you have the displays of all the brands that we currently are carrying, which right now we have gotten the green light from Athens, PSC, Diamond, and Bear, and we're currently waiting to see if Matthews is willing to have us uh, come to their shop. I hope they bring them in. Of course, Matthews is the number one selling bow in the country. I've worked on a lot of them. I tuned a lot of them. We'll be happy to have them here in the Ivory Jack Archery store because a lot of people are going to want to test them out and try and buy them. So we'll have that here as the uh, main space right here. Along behind you on the wall here and down, we're going to have the arrow display. That's kind of be kind of a tiered step thing, uh, different brands. Right now we are a dealer for Gold Tip Victory 
and Carbon Express. We are also bringing in Black Eagle, although we're not a full dealer for them. We're kind of on an order basis. Uh, but uh, right now I'm building a set of dozen uh, Rampage shafts for a customer. Uh, thank you, Jacob, uh, for your order. So I'm fletching those up and getting those ready for him for hunting season here this fall. Uh, we cleaned this all up. Everything's looking really good. Um, and we have now framed in, or not we again, the team <laughs> has framed in the bathroom. Uh, so over here we'll have targets and other miscellaneous things. And then here we have framed in the full ADA compliant bathroom. So we have an eight by eight uh, bathroom here. Uh, so those, uh, those of you that uh, follow the ADA compliancy, uh, you'll be able to come into the shop and, and be able to use our services here, at least on the first floor. Uh, this back wall then here is going to lead into the break room area, uh, which right now uh, is, I don't actually remember the dimensions of this space. Uh, but this is going to be where probably my wife, my kids, and I are going to spend a lot of time. Uh, so we're going to have you know, couches, new TV, uh, sink, uh, fridge, range, all that sort of stuff. So that way we can kind of have a little bit of the uh, home commodities, if you will, while we're here at the shop. We're going to be here a lot, let's be honest, <laughs> particularly the kids, both uh, when during the summertime out of school and then, of course, after hours uh, out of school as well. Back stairwell that goes down to the range. Um, and uh, I'm not going to traverse that without any lights, so let's go the other way to get to the range and we'll show you the progress. Although it doesn't look amazing, we've definitely made a lot down there. As I walk back towards the range here, this uh, doorway here and then the doorway over here, I guarantee I'm going to get asked, Hey, uh, Nate, uh, is this your side as well? And the answer is no, not right now. That side is actually about 20, if not 20, over 20 feet wide, uh, and even longer than this side of the building. Uh, it's much larger. We don't have access to that. Uh, that is simply for the other, um, I don't know, for the, for the building owner to use. Stairs that I fit in! <laughs> Look at this! I mean, it's barely. I mean, if you're 6'6", six, six, you're going to have a problem, but you're 6'4 and shorter, you'll be all right. Here we are down at the range, and this looks so much nicer. Uh, so here in the back area, this is going to be storage. So uh, as it sits right here, you might be able to see it on camera. Uh, down here on the floor, we have this, uh, this line in the concrete, and that is actually the shooting line. So this will be the 20-yard uh, uh, mark down there as we shoot down towards the targets here. So right now, we're uh, working on getting our base coats down. Again, I keep saying we. I'm not doing any of this currently. <laughs> the renovation, I'm still in school. The renovation team is uh, is getting these walls um, repatched up, getting scratch coats back on so we can add plaster again. Uh, we have plenty of ceiling up here. Plenty of ceiling up here. This is just going to get sheetrock. We'll have some bulkheads here down here to hide some plumbing. Uh, plenty of uh, height. You want to bring in a 40 some inch target bow down here. You got plenty of room. Uh, as we come down this way, uh, we don't need to worry what's going on uh, in that space there. We'll have our furnace system uh, and our hot water here. And we will have our facade wall, which will start right here behind uh, this second concrete step down here. And we'll go forward to the ceiling and we'll have a bulkhead up here uh, uh, with plenty of air resistance uh, as obviously people are going to be shooting here. And we'll have uh, some uh, 4x4 four four target butts, Iron Man target butts from Big Shot Targets. We're going to be a Big Shot Target dealer as well as use their targets for our range. PA based company, made in the USA, could not be more excited to bring them in. We'll have three of them set up here for 12 uh, linear feet of targets year round. And then when we need to, we'll bring up a second one on the step that will be built at the same height. Um, I know it might be tough to envision that, but then we'll have a target here, uh, four, uh, three other targets there, and we'll have 16 linear feet, which is going to be around basically seven uh, shooting lanes there as it sits on the other side. Regulations about two, two and a half feet, depending on what you look at, world archery, so on and so forth. So, but if we can get uh, six, seven, eight guys in a line at a time, or ladies, or kids, uh, and then have the B line so we could fit anywhere between 12 to 16 people uh, down into uh, on the shooting bales at once, that'd be huge. That'd be great for league nights, for tournaments, for kids nights, for ladies nights. Getting as many people down here and enjoying the sport of archery making just a nice, clean, respectable, even with these, these shock lights with these uh, LED balls in here, it's just so much better lit than even it was before. And I know, again, it doesn't look like much, but I can see the vision uh, of what this is going to be like. The team, the renovation team is doing a phenomenal job, bringing this up to speed. Uh, today is April 20th. So we are actually, believe it or not, ahead of schedule. 
Um, our goal is still, not a goal, but it is going to be uh, open July 1st, doors open full retail. Our hope is to maybe have a soft opening uh, during the month of June. We'll talk more about that later as we get closer and, and seeing the timing of all of that. Uh, so hopefully that uh, we can bring in people to shoot down here at the range at least, um, have a space to do that both with their bows and their crossbows and then also have the ability for people to bring in their bows starting in June and crossbows, get string cable change, you know, fix peak twist, you know, do all that type of maintenance that they may need uh, and smartly will do during June and July uh, when it's not super busy, it's not super peak season, it's easy to get string cables. Speaking of string cables, we are a dealer for gas bow strings uh, as well as Zebra. And then of course we're bringing in uh, some smaller brands as well to do for the older bows like Kinsey's makes their own 452X strings, which is Kinsey's a distributor here and uh, Pro Shop in its own right here in uh, Central Pennsylvania area. Um, and hopefully we can bring in Wicked Threads custom strings from Craig Herzog, although, uh, right in Dillsburg, PA, although we're still waiting on him to see if he wants to do that because we could maybe sell him too many strings <laughs> for what he's able to do because just like me, he's doing this part time. So anyway, that's the shop, or at least as the shop currently sits. Like I said, full retail doors will open July 1st here, 2022. Oh, it seems so close yet so far away at the same time. Oh, I completely forgot to mention, look at the floor. If you forgot what the old floor looked like, here's some clippy bit of what that looks like. And uh, we are gonna stick with the original softwood tongue and groove hardwood. And does it not look beautiful? I cannot believe I did not mention that earlier in the video. Uh, we're gonna get some uh, oil poly. It's just an amber color. Oh, it's good, it's good. It's gonna look immaculate. It is going to look, oh, it's gonna look so good. So yeah, so the floor is gonna be there. That was the, the lion's share of the labor so far. So now that the framing started in, we're, we're starting thinking about patching and painting and working on skim coats and everything else. So <sighs> and again, if you're interested in donating, links in the description below. One dollar, five dollar, five hundred, five thousand, does not matter. Join the already over 150 people that are gonna get their name permanently. That's, that banner's gonna live up there until this shop closes, whenever that may be. So uh, yeah, if you wanna find your name on the banner, go ahead and follow the links in the description below if you would like to donate. I cannot thank you enough as an archer, as a YouTuber, as a friend, as a bow hunter, as an anything. Thank you so much for donating. I hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation. Come down to the shop when it's open, and we'll get to see you next time.